Hey guys, today I'm going to talk you through a workflow on how to scan bigger cases um, into Romexes and everything meshed together. So the first thing, let's say you have a big hybrid prosthetic provisional or something that you want to scan, <clears throat> and you want it meshed to the edentulous scan and scan body scan and all that, you first are going to scan the provisional um, in the prep tab, okay? So this is real time, this is not sped up, so this video is going to be a little bit painful to watch, but I just want you guys to see some real world scanning. Um, <clears throat> maybe it'll help if you're struggling with scanning at all to see scanning these more complicated cases. I don't know why I'm going all the way so far back, but basically if you're scanning a provisional, and this also will work for... Um, any large cases where you need multiple multiple meshes stitched together <clears throat> notice how when I go facial that I um, have some overlap initially and if you are doing this you definitely want to get some soft tissue apical to the prosthetic which is kind of hard to do especially if the patient has a shallow vestibule like this patient this is not a not a really easy case to scan with most scanners so I'm trying to get down underneath kind of this restoration. Trying to get some connection there. <clears throat> I'm going to maybe use a little active delete right there to try to melt some of that obturgate away. There we go. Okay, I think we're pretty good for what we need. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and render the model, and I think that's going to also be in real time, so it's going to be a little bit painful. Large scan like this takes some time to render, but it's still, I think, the fastest render time out of any system on the market that I've played with. <clears throat> so it's important to capture the soft tissues of the palate, and as far back as you could comfortably go, and a little bit of the facial soft tissue. So here's this stone view. See how nice and detailed that is. There's no stitching errors or alignment issues. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I'm going to right click and drag that up the upper folder to the pre-op folder. Okay, so I'm duplicating that model into the pre-op. You could have did it kind of vice versa. You could have scanned in the pre-op and then duplicated down in the upper. But the, the main thing is that the upper needs to have the prosthetic with the teeth because that's what's going to be used to stitch the bite now <clears throat> okay so i hit okay and it's going to recopy the pre-op down into the upper so now i have two arches so i have the pre-op looks like that okay and i'm going to keep that like that and then i have the upper now i'm going to scan my lower and you're going to see the method to my madness here in a minute it'll help you understand what's going on so now I'm scanning my lower. <clears throat> I marked the occlusion. Um, sometimes I do that preoperatively just so we could verify occlusal contact points if we need to. Um, now I'm scanning that. Now I will say um, for Plameca is working on something called global alignment, which is really going to help with scan bodies in particular um, this we sometimes do struggle scanning large scan body cases with this <clears throat> but I want to show you the workflow because I think it's important to see so now we have the lower and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, render that model <clears throat> and we're gonna capture the, the, the buckle bite once again um, I do kind of apologize for the real time but a lot of people had just wanted to see real time stuff so I'm slowing these videos down for you guys so there's the lower now I'm gonna go to the bite okay so we're on the bite tab now it's kinda hidden from the magnification of the time scanner time and I'm s Byte scans for me are slow scans because you want to give the computer some time to merge the models together like that. 
<clears throat> so now this is going to render. So now we have basically the upper prosthetic, the lower, the byte merged, and then we have a duplicate in the pre-op tab, <clears throat> which we are going to, that is perfectly merged to the upper. So I want to show you what I mean. Everything is going to be perfectly merged together. It's all about merging meshes when you have these like complicated cases. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my um, pre-op. Notice all the green dots. Everything's merged. And I'm going to erase the teeth. And I'm going to do a, this is a multi-unit case, so I'm going to scan the multi-unit. <clears throat> Soft tissue scan. Being really careful, I want to maximize the amount of palette that is on this. So spend a little bit of time erasing this. Okay, trying to keep maybe even a smidge of facial tissue there to help with alignment. And you're going to see how butter smooth this thing is going to scan these multi units. And once again, the reason why we're doing this is because this mesh here is merged to the provisional mesh, which then means when I scan these, it's going to be merged to the byte in space. So it's kind of hard to understand if you're not kind of understanding. So we'll, at the end, we'll kind of do a little review. So now I'm starting on the palette and letting it pick up on the Ruge there. And now I'm going to just kind of slowly work over to these kind of little multi-unit heads abutments and I'm going to scan those ends for a soft tissue scan. <clears throat> this is not where you want to be like super fast and cool with your scans. You kind of want to slow it down here for accuracy's sake. Let it fill in. Just kind of do slow little rolls. Try not to jitter and jump around a whole bunch. Just let take your sweet time. Basically it's stitching this into my previous scan of the palette, which is merged to my provisional, which is merged to the byte in space. So now if I were to just ghost this on or send this to the lab, it would be in perfect vertical height for the VDO. This, this mesh would be floating in air at the perfect byte height. I'll show you that in mesh mixer in a minute. <clears throat> and don't worry about being so particular here. We're melting away some of the opter gate. There. So this is actually, you'll see when this renders, it's going to be a gorgeous model. Let's see if we can get that to render for you guys here in real time once again. I think you're going to, I think you're going to like this uh, model once I render this. It's going to be gorgeous. Here we go. It looks like it's done, so it's going to pop up. Beautiful model, guys. Let's turn it on stone view because color hides a multitude of sins. It's a nice model. I think I could work with that. Um, but once again, the advantage is that it now. So now we're going to go to the scan body tab. It's going to copy the Mac, the upper jaw in, and we're going to re-delete the provisional, and we're going to now scan our scan bodies. Now I will say that the Emerald S is going to have an update that's going to improve this, but right now scanning multiple parallel scan bodies is kind of difficult. And I don't even know if it's something that I would recommend quite yet. It's just uh, a little bit of a challenge not to get shelling or, um, especially these scan bodies, they're just cylinders. They're probably the worst scan bodies I've ever seen for scanning. Perfect smooth cylinders. As far as for stitching, so you can see we're going to have just a tiny little bit of stitch errors. Probably the hardest thing you're ever going to do with the scanner. So um, we are going to for sure update you once this new global alignment feature is out that's going to really help with these types of scans. So there we go. So now, why do we do it? So now everything's aligned. That scan body scan is aligned to the upper scan which is aligned to the soft tissue scan which is all aligned to the bite in space so everything is kind of together um, so I'll show you what I mean we'll go we'll just 
you know, open X, STL export these suckers into Mesh Mixer, and we'll see. I'll try to show you guys what I'm talking about, what, why it's important. Um, so yeah, so there's the the model. Once again, it's not a perfect perfect scan of those scan bodies, and like I said, I think there's some really cool innovations that are coming out soon that are going to really help with this. Um, it's called global alignment. I'm really excited for it. Been waiting for years for it. I'm pumped. But here's the the scan. There's the STL file. So now let me let me show you. So we're going to drag all these into Mesh Mixer. So there's the Thing. There's the scan body. See how they're merged together. There's the byte and space. So that's all perfect. Here's the provisional. So that's all perfect. So now everything's all aligned. There you go. Have fun.